Oops. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Stream Beam. I'm here with Sneak Castle. We're talking about what's going on today. Got a hint of a clue. Possibly need some alien activity. Let's go check it out. Get my car down here. So, uh, you believe in alien sun? Everywhere. Everywhere. Get out of here. We're we're, we're FIB agents, you jerk. Men in black. I'm sorry. No, no respect for authority. Jeez. That's right. I, I hope you know. I mean, you've been my partner for a long time. I think I think you know that I just I got this bad habit of shooting people. I'm sorry. It's a medical condition. He likes to shoot but first and ask questions later. We're parking here. Sorry, guys. I really do. It. So, uh, the tip says that this tattoo parlor right here has some interesting stuff. So, before we go in, let's, uh, let's talk about what we're going to do. Let's go in and ask this guy some questions. Just walk in here and ask him a couple All questions. Alright, fair enough. What if I wanted a butterfly on the ankle, buddy? It's a so, code you know, phrase. It's a code phrase. About, uh, I think he does. Look, look at this picture on the wall. Look at the stain on the ground. He does. Over here, look at the stain. Look, look how realistic this picture is. That's a that, that's a clue right there. That's definitely a clue. Oh, look, yeah. Come over here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the stain on the ground. You see it? No more. Just come stand where I'm standing. Yep. This is pretty suspicious. He's pointing right at you, buddy. You see that alien? Oh, dang, I see that. Oh, man. Oh, man, what the heck's going on here, dude? I feel like you know more about aliens than you're putting on. You got a picture of an alien I feel like right I feel like right here is just a portrait. It was like he just painted that, like a one-to-one -one portrait. Definitely. We should take a picture of this. Keep our, keep our uh, notes. Gotta yeah, make that case file. All right, you gotta get that case file going. Perfect. All right, let's. I don't trust the man. He's hiding things. So let's let's go straight across from where that alien's pointing at. Let's go over here. Right, so I set a course to where that alien's pointing at. Let's see if he knows anything. Come on, let's go. He didn't know anything. I feel like I could have got something out of him if I would have. Him up a little bit more. Probably could have, but I don't trust can, that can guy. I, can, I, can I ask him a question now? You may. You may ask, ask him a question. Yes, sir, sir, do you know anything? You know anything? He didn't know anything. Oh. All right, let's get in our car. Come on, let's go check out this other clue. I'll get in the back seat. No, no, don't want to be in the back seat. No! Oh, oh, there goes the door. There goes the door. Damn. Okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now, everyone, just so you know, this is what happens when you're indecisive. Let's go see where that went. Let's go see where that guy pointed to. Hopefully, there's something there. That was pretty crazy. As far as aliens go, do you believe in oh, intelligent yeah. life forms? Or do you believe, like, the, the single-celled... It's too ridiculous to me to think that we're the only things in existence in the entire, like, universe in existence, period, that is capable of doing something like that. That's capable of intelligence, capable of, of inventing things and learning and adapting. The lady was an alien. The universe is so humongous that it's hard to believe that we're the only planet that formed life, you know? It just doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That cop's an alien. Sir. Sir, sir, you're impeding in our investigation. Shooting. That guy's an alien too, I can just tell. So. We're gonna have to check out the site fast. We're getting swarmed. It's fine, it's fine. Let's pull out our sniper rifle and check out this guy on the building. Whoa, that's creepy. See it up there? Definitely something going on with this face. That's definitely some alien. That's definitely some alien. Go 
goings on. Maybe there's something around here. I think there's something think? wrong with that, uh, look at this man right here. Sl slams into this police car, runs over the body, runs back over Maybe the body. He's an alien. There's something wrong with this man. Maybe that guy's an alien. Who knows? Look at, look at this one. Oh, yeah. Look at this that shit. is really creepy. That is definitely an alien right there. See, there's some weird stuff Let's going Let's check down on. this alleyway. Down this alley. Check Look at this alleyway. guy. Look at this guy. He's pointing yeah, see, there's another one right here. What's in his hand? Is that a mask? That's pretty creepy. There has to be some around here, though. There's a ladder over here. Let's check this ladder. Let's see what's in this ladder. I'm gonna scan the rooftops for evidence. Whoa, room. look up there. What the heck is that? The helicopter, oh dude. That is, that's like no helicopter I've ever seen, though. That looks like some yeah, government let's, let's funded shit. We gotta check it out. Let's go check it out. Well, yeah, let's go check, check it, it out. out. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. See, you know what concerns me, though? What's that? We're the secret, we're the secret part of the government, and we don't know about this. Yeah, that's the, that, that's, that's the, the crazy that, thing. That's the problem. That is the crazy thing. Do you believe the government plays a role in suppressing knowledge of intelligent, of intelligent life forms? Oh! Oh, no. oh thanks for uh, grabbing me. This does not look like anything I've ever seen, and, and we're part of the government. I'm stealing it. <laughs> this is mine now. Pilot. This looks like some alien. Oh. This looks like some kind of alien uh, technology. What do you think? Most definitely. Like, there's there's a lot of things going around the internet in general. Like, a lot of people that have seen things. And you got so many people that will take a video or spot things. There's so many people, you know, that see the same thing. And then you have the government that just like, oh, yeah, no, that doesn't happen. And then it just, everything that's about that event just disappears. Yeah, it's pretty like, weird. Like, they just tend to, tend to hide everything pretty weird especially with alien or especially with especially with area 51 and stuff too like that was even before the internet there was you know yeah, reports definitely. of all the weird stuff happening there with uh, um, the crash in roswell um, i don't remember the exact year it's been a while since i read anything about it but so i know i know of a place where people who where people gather to talk about aliens if you want to go uh, there we were on there. Yeah, we're gonna go interrogate some fools. So pretty much what happened was there was a supposed alien crash at Area 51. But at first the press didn't know what it was, and then they changed their story to say it was a weather balloon, which is kind of odd in itself, if you ask me. So this is the place right here where the people gather to welcome in the new visitors. It's pretty crazy, if you ask me. Let's have a, let's have a... So we're gonna, we're gonna crash the party? You think there's anybody here? Let's see. Let's look around. Let's have a look. Let's have a look around and see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ma'am and... Uh... Ma'am? Are you a ma'am? No, ma'am and sir. Excuse me, ma'am and sir. Do you know anything about aliens? Have you seen any around here? Where are you going? Where are you guys yeah, going? Yeah, they're avoiding the question. Yeah, I think they know they're something. They're avoiding the question. I think they know something with all these aliens. Right? They definitely know something. They're running away. Look at them. They're running away into the desert. Let's ask this lady. It's okay. Ma'am? It's okay. Ma you, do you know anything? You anything about aliens? Excuse me, ma'am. Why are you running away from me? Come on now. That's very suspicious. Hey, right here. That's very suspicious just that you're you just walking questions. away when we're trying to ask some questions. Let's check out these hippies over here. Look at this rock. That is definitely an alien. That's an alien. That's an alien. You guys heart the aliens? What does that That's say? Fail. Save us? Yo! Maybe this is the secret society. That could be. That could be it. Look at this UFO. I'm gonna ask this lady about the president. See if they know anything. Ma'am? Do you believe Donald Trump? Ma'am, do you believe Donald Trump is an alien? 
Hey, sir. Whoa, sir. I'm just at. Whoa, space. sir. I need you to calm down. I'm just asking you if you think Donald Trump is an alien. Sir, some space. You don't need to take so much. Hey, sir. Listen, guys. Come on. We do not need to play this. Look at these. That's definitely alien. Right there. They all they change color too. That's pretty crazy. Sneak, do you believe Donald Trump is an alien? I do not. That is one theory I can't get behind. You, d you don't think there's at least a possibility of it? No, not really. I just, asked just that guy, he got pretty, pretty shady. Like, I asked that guy, he got pretty he shady. He got pretty shady. But there's a, there's a lot of stupidity going on in the world, and just because he's a little more special than others doesn't exactly mean that that's the case. <laughs> okay. There's just a lot of it going around nowadays. True. There's a lot of false information now. Look at this oh shit. Oh my goodness. That is creepy. Oh, that is definitely... Look at this oh one. Oh my goodness. That is some doggy-style aliens right there. Look at that alien's butt. There's definitely some weird stuff going on here. You think it's possible that we're aliens to this planet? See, I actually, I actually saw a theory about that. Yep. I was, um, I was searching through the internet one day, and I found this theory that because, um, you know, if you think about it, every species of animal on this planet, you know, doesn't matter what type, whether it be mammal or you know, fish, you know, whatever, whatever the animal may be. Yeah. Every single animal on this planet has natural inbred instincts, you know, telling them that an earthquake is coming, telling them that a storm is coming. But like unlike every other species of animal on this planet, humans are the only ones that don't adapt to the Earth. And we're the only ones that don't have any natural inborn instincts to the planet itself. We yeah. adapt the planet to our needs. We don't like fit with the planet. That's so I saw true. this one. Um, I saw this one theory that like the dinosaur extinction event was actually the fact that we came here as aliens and we're actually the aliens, and that's the reason that we don't adapt to our planet and we're not adapt whatsoever. Like we're literally the only species on this planet. That does not have any natural born instincts to this planet or how it works. Yeah, I've heard that before. Do you think that could possibly be because that we've evolved, like intelligence, like we've evolved intelligence beyond just our normal instincts, and so it kind of separates us from our environment? That's that's personally my I mean, belief, I could, but I could get that to an extent. But it's really weird to think as well Check because. Over here. We still do have some natural born instincts, you know, survival instincts, but they're not of the Earth itself. They're just how to survive off of it. They say that we are aliens, say that we came here. Have you noticed that, like, just us as human beings, for some reason or another, are just so damn violent? Like, it's just in our nature to be extremely hostile and violent. Like, what if we're, we were all, like, a band of convicts, and as our punishment, we got exiled to a planet with, like, loss of memory of technology? That's pretty crazy. Let's ask these people if they know anything about aliens. Hey, why are you guys running? Uh, I think they're already running. Why are you guys running? Quick, what the get heck? them in the legs. Get their legs. I think you, I think you know about aliens, ma'am. I got, the, I got I got this bitch's kneecaps. I got this lady's kneecaps. Oh, I think this lady knows something. Uh, Oh, this lady definitely knows something. Ma'am, we just need to ask you a few questions. Got you. Come here. Come here, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm you sorry killed her. That. You killed her. Ma'am. You know, what do you know about aliens? I'm, I'm ma'am? Precious. Precious. Ma I'm sorry, but yeah. she's gone. You need to work, you need to work on your um, oh gosh, injury, not an kill aim. She's definitely an alien. Shot her in the knee. Shot her in the leg. Come on, that wouldn't have been enough to kill well, her. I mean, you don't know. Maybe their heart's located in a different place. Maybe she is an alien. Whoa, that's true. Maybe their heart is located in their knees. Stop here. I'm investigating this churro stand. Okay. <laughs> that's a good idea. There could be aliens working in this churro stand. Ma'am, why are you running? Come on. You know something about aliens, don't you? Let's, let's test our theory. You're in the kneecap. Test. 
Confirmed. Confirmed. Aliens have hearts and their knees. And money. We need more of your tax dollars, people. Come on. Hey, look at this shit. Look at what's on this. That's pretty creepy. That is pretty creepy. Who knows what that could be? That's why you guys hanging out here, huh? You guys know anything? You guys believe in aliens? Must be aliens. Let's kill him. Run! Run! Oh, dear. Run! Run! <laughs> Agent Precious, <laughs> warn me before you do these kinds of things. Look at this one. I did. That one was floating. This that one was floating. Definitely some alien. Oh so my gosh. alien. He lit oh on fire gosh. and started floating. Oh my gosh, we need to get out of here. Come on, let's get in the helicopter. Quick, before the cops get here. Oh, I got a tip ones? from headquarters. I got a tip from headquarters about the satellite dishes. Maybe we should check them out. Look at it. Look, they're all facing one way except for one. That's kind of weird. And as soon as I got here, a cop showed up. That's pretty weird. Stuff. What do you think of the theory that UFOs could possibly be time machines from the future? Have you ever heard that before? I have not, but that actually is pretty cool. Like, you look up in so, the sky and you see so some precious, UFOs. So, Precious, what's up? Precious, Precious. You see anything up here? It's over. I have the high ground. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, wait. So, all those are facing one way except for this one, right? Which is facing a different way. Yeah. Which direction is but if this you notice facing? Check out where this is pointing to. What do you say? Let's right, get let's the helicopter. It. It's not like a matter of question whatsoever to me. Of uh, if they exist, it's just like how far out are they? Yeah. Because if far away like are it they? could be a possibility too that they're they're so advanced, like we might be interested in them. But they just don't care about us. Like we're just we're not that advanced enough to where they really see us as. Even if it was like, you know, we want us we want to find aliens. We want that quest for knowledge. We want to find out what they know. We we really want to. Oh yeah. Know everything we can. Oh, yeah. Like I'm not a hundred percent sure if I believe in intelligent life, but I one hundred percent believe that there's single cell organisms out there. There's like no way. There's no way that we're the only place that could um, give life. Oh my gosh, look. What the heck is this? Dude. Yo, that's that the symbol creepy. that was on that ritual thing with the, the moon crest. The that is the symbol. That is creepy. They got this UFO this down here. Big UFO. All these X's. Wait a second. Is it? Come, come back when your story is complete. You see that? Oh, look, there's something under there yeah. too. Look under the, look under there. What is that? There's something red. Oh, under there. Side red. Yo, that's the same symbol. That is creepy. That's the same. That is the same symbol. That is, that is scary. There's definitely some alien presence here. Have you ever seen Independence Day? Yeah. yeah. No, I've seen part of it. I have I'm not seen the whole thing. I have I've seen part of it. Have you ever seen Men in Black? Yes, I've seen Men in Black 1 and 2. Yeah. You think it's possible that Will Smith is an alien? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that he's been be in a lot. That would be the greatest ruse of all time. He's been in a lot of alien movies. So I just got another I just not got another hint from headquarters. You wanna go check it out? Alright, let's go check it that, out. It's on that island. Yeah, it's the it. island I was telling you about. So let's go here and check that out. Have you ever heard of sleep paralysis? Yes. Do you know what it is? Other than like the blatant term of being like paralyzed in your sleep? No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. So, a lot of people who report... Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. So, a lot of people... Yeah, yeah. 
So a lot of people who report, a lot of people who report sleep paralysis, they say it's you pretty much wake up in the middle of the night and you can't move. And some people report seeing either witches or ghosts. And they'll say that they come to them and they like they sit on their chest and where they can't breathe, they make them to where they can't breathe. Some people report yeah, seeing creepy. shadows. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty creepy. But there's also some people who believe because if you look up, if you look, if you look into it, you'll find that there are thousands and thousands of reports of alien abduction, eyewitness reports. So there's people who report being uh, abducted by aliens all the time, and a lot of people say that that's possibly a byproduct of sleep paralysis. It's just sleep paralysis, and in your mind, you're just imagining that you're being abducted. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it could be that, or do you think that we're actually being abducted? Well, it seems really weird to me to... I get that you're by complete trips on you, but it seems odd to me that you would wake up. Again, I'm not being able to move would definitely freak you out and cause you to to freak out mentally. Yeah. But it's really odd that you wouldn't recognize her room. Yeah, that is that's pretty my weird. that's my point on it. Yeah. Like that what is what part strange. of that would make you not recognize your own surroundings? Especially especially if you live there for, you know, like say like twenty, thirty years. You know, sure. how, are you, how are you not going to know your own surroundings? Especially, there's a okay, lot of, I, I don't know if I'm smooth enough for that. Between everybody's abduction reports, there's a lot of similarities. Which is kind of weird. Like a lot of really eerily similar um, coincidences. Which kind of lends credence oh, to the whole... Which kind of leads credence to the whole alien abduction thing gave me the coordinates headquarters did so we'll check it out but to get to it we're definitely going to need a, we're, to get to it we're definitely going to need a scuba suit or some kind of breathing apparatus I don't even know how you get the scuba suit you have to buy it I mean I, I have the funds to buy it they gave me a little bit of funding I just don't know where to go to get it a store you can, you can get it at any store Saved here. Do you have a Do you have a breathing apparatus? I <laughs> thought I Ready did, but uh, it turns out I forgot it. And my other oh stuff. no! Oh no! Well, you stay on shore and you keep. Uh, you keep. You keep. You stay on shore and keep watch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna head for this. Clue. I'll guard the technology. You guard the alien technology. I'm gonna head for this clue that headquarters gave. Interesting. Yeah, some people believe that octopi are actually aliens. What do you think about that? They're pretty strange. I can see it. If you Those think things about are it. weird. There's so many things in the ocean that we have not come even close to discovering yet. And it's we very don't true. even have the technology to discover most of it. That's very true. Due A to the, like, the pressure say... issues. Right. A lot of people say that. You know, space is the final frontier, but there's a lot of the ocean that we haven't even explored, that we have no idea what's down there. Oh my gosh, I found it. Did you find it? I found it. It's a UFO. Oh, for real? There's a UFO down here. You actually found a oh, crash yeah. UFO? There's a UFO down here in the ocean, man. Whoa. That is crazy. Some exploring around here. There's one, two, three, there's six. They look like eggs on top of this UFO. And all these things coming out of it. That's crazy. Yo, that's messed up. Super weird. You there's don't think there's any, uh, any of them lurking around, do you? I, I hope not. I really want to know more. I can get inside don't get trapped in it it might so it might it might start up and take you off oh uh, i can't do much about that oh my gosh. That if, if, if it starts good. up and flies off i can't really i can't really chase it down i don't need to lose my partner do you think it's possible that we came from no. mars you don't think so i don't think i don't, I don't think so 
I believe I don't that think there's enough remnants of anything being there that we have yet to find that suggests that theory. Yeah. You don't believe that possibly Mars in the past was like Earth, a lot like Earth, and maybe had I mean, like that, that life. Could be a, that could have been a possibility. You know how messed up that would be if we originally came from Mars and we came to Earth because a planet was dying and destroying itself? And then it turns out we're destroying this planet and now we can go to Mars because we're destroying this planet? Right. I've been a part of this entire investigation and I don't get to see the cool part. What kind of bullshit You didn't get to see the best part. You should have brought a scuba suit. I knew not I could get a scuba suit. They didn't know it was part of the funding. I thought you had the mask. When did they underwater. okay the funding for a scuba suit? You must have missed that memo, bro. Well, you got the text for the location. They didn't send me shit. I'm starting to feel like they don't like me. <laughs> you didn't get the email? No, I didn't you get check shit. your email? It's because you don't check your email? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think that'll probably do it for the stream. Sneak, you have anything else to add? No, I think that about wraps it up. Cover it. We covered a good amount of stuff. You, you answered all my questions efficiently, so I think we can end it here. What do you think? So what is it? Oh, I see. I'm not your partner. That's why I didn't get the email. I'm just being questioned. I see how it is. <laughs> it all That's why I didn't get the fucking now. email. It all comes to light now. You just wanted me to help you. What am I? I'm the alien Jeez. sneak. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> it! Oh, Double God. crossed! Double crossed by your own partner. I'm the alien. How do you think I knew all this stuff? There was no email. You don't get the technology! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh, man. The government. Oh, man. The government. They got me.